Well, hi, I am going to be making some enchiladas. I'm going to make some chile verde enchiladas, my kind of enchiladas that I like making. I already made my sopa, I made my rice. So I have a video if you want to Google it and see how I do it. And basically, it's just sauteed uh, rice with um, some chicken broth and some bell peppers, onions. You saute your onions, your bell peppers, and then you add your stock in there or your broth. And then, well, before that, you add your chili powders and then you season it. And you, I usually do comino, um, garlic, um, some onion. Well, the onions are already a season and see a little bit of sea salt or some bouillon if you want if you want a little extra flavor but it really doesn't need it because a lot of the flavors in here so this is going to off balance each other sometimes it's not good to have all that salt especially when you have to watch your salt intake right okay so um, I wanted to show this 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 video clip because I've been wanting to do some enchiladas for a long time I usually make them red but this time, I'm going to make them. Now, this is my chicken that I had boiled. I had boiled it. I saved a lot of extra liquids. And then I used the liquids for my Spanish rice. So, my sopa. But this is um, chicken breast. And it has bell peppers. It's been cooked with bell peppers, onions, uh, garlic, and some bay leaves. And a little bit of sea salt. And that's it. That's it. You boil it. If you don't use it right away, yeah, just store it. Okay? And then you just reheat it and then it comes out and then yeah and then I just added what I did was I added something out you see a little bit of green in there well this is I like sometimes adding some pipion in there and I make my own pipion I get some so pepitos, which is uh, pumpkin seeds and I use my quasin art or whatever my blender and then I my spice grinder and then I blend it and then I add it and so I cheated and I added some Victoria sauce. Usually, okay, usually I make my own chile verde. I didn't feel like it. So sometimes when you have that last minute company and they come over and they want some, you need to cook something really fast or you just don't feel like cooking, go ahead and get you stocked up. Have your little cabinet with a little bit of, I mean, I don't use a lot of, I like using a lot of fresh ingredients, but this time I just didn't. So, okay. So, I use a whole jar of this, and this is mild because I don't want to burn my lips off. And But this is spicy. And this, I use about a half a jar of this. And it's very creamy. It's delicious, but it's very, very spicy. And then I added a little bit of cream, which is what I have in the refrigerator. I put it back in the refrigerator because I don't like to leave my cream out. So I use some cream, okay? So just a little bit. And then you're, of course, you have to have some stock in there. So what the pepitos are gonna do, it's gonna thicken it up a little bit. So, and it's gonna get a nice little flavor. And then you just taste. You taste it as you go. You can see all the little bell peppers in there. You can see the, you can see the chili peppers, uh, tomatillos. I mean, you can see a lot of goodness in there. So this is just, I know it, it looks kind of funky, but it's good. Trust me. <laughs> okay. And so what I do is I saute my tortillas. I saute them one at a time. I use a little bit of oil, use just a little bit in a skillet, in that skillet, and I saute them. Okay. So there you have, and I just put them out and you have to use them right away and get some really nice tortillas because, um, I don't like just cheapy tortillas. So I'm going to use a fork to fork it in because that's what I'm going to use. And then for my cebollas, I like putting cebollas in there. So I have fresh oregano. I even saved my little buds here. And so I like using fresh oregano. And plus, I cut it in with a little bit of dry Mexican oregano. Now, there's different kinds of oreganos out there. There is like, you'll find that there's a lot of different flavor. Oh, so anyways, sorry about that. 
So there's different kinds of oreganos over there. So make sure that you get the oregano that is Mexican. Mexican oregano or just a regular oregano that smells like oregano. Okay, and so the fresh is different. Now, the dry oregano is very, very pungent. And because it's strong, it's, it's a lot more dense. The fresh oregano is sabroso, really fresh. So, I put both of them in there. <laughs> so, and then I chop my little onions up. And then, and then I use this also with my red ones. And I use it in my chilaquile. Mm -mm -mm. So, I have some cheeses here. I have Monterey Jack. I have the cheddar that I grate. I don't buy that stuff. I have a little bit of um, cheddar cheese with a little bit of the grated mixture in there which is what I'm going to use on top. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start making them. So I'm going to put this down real quick, okay? I'm going to preheat my oven. So I'm just going to use this little oven. Oh, it's already preheating. It's at 375. Okay, put this up here. Okay, turn it off. I don't need that anymore. Okay, and basically what I do is I just take Some of this. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Okay. And I'm just gonna put oil in my pan a little bit on the bottom. Just a little. Okay, just oil my pan just a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of that onion, add a little bit of this, yum, just a little bit. I don't need a lot, so I'm going to go ahead, see if I can make some room here. The kitchen's kind of awkward, so make some room. Ah, my little burrito. We're just going to go ahead and put it over here. <laughs> Then just roll it up and put it in here. Okay, and do it again. Can you see that? Just a little bit of cheese. I don't need a lot. I like cebollas in mine. Okay. Okay. going here. That's my cat. No. No, Bella. Get out of the kitchen, Bella. Don't beg.
No, Bella. Go away. And make this cheese stretch a little bit. And you don't really need a lot of it because there's cream in your, unless you want it, unless you want a lot of cheese, but, oh, when you get past a certain age, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Actually, you should watch your cheese intake even while you're young. Don't take it for granted that you're gonna be, I mean, there's been heart attacks even in young folks, so. <laughs> But, be careful with your cheese. But if you can handle it, by all means have it. Oh, that one broke. I swear, if I was on the playa somewhere, I'd make a chilling. That's funny. They have commercials for music on the music. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a little tricky. We're going to make it work. Somehow we're going to make it work. on that. Put that in there. So if you're going to have a party, this is really cool to put in a casserole and a shaper, a huge shaper. You're going to do a big, big one. Big party. I'm just going to take some of this cheese because I ran out. And that's it with the onions. Alrighty. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's just put this down here and then just put that over there. So we have... Mm, mm, mm. That's good. Now, what I'm going to do is just take the rest of this, just slather it on top. You can't really see what I'm doing, but. You wanna make sure all your enchiladas are covered. Okay. And you can always make a little extra the sauce if you want it just plain. Clean your edges up. And then you just kind of sprinkle your, I like sprinkling my Parmesan cheese on top. And you put 
picture a little, it makes it a little bit colorful. Okay, so there you have it. I'm going to cover it up with some parchment. Okay. You want to put in, put on some herbs on that. And parchment and foil. First parchment and then oil. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it with a little bit of these herbs. These are the flowers. And then I would sprinkle it with just a little bit of pumpkin seeds so it'll look like you have pumpkin in it or pumpkin seeds beat, beat those in it okay I'm just gonna go in the oven and it's gonna be good alrighty just thought I'd show you that real quick have a good one bye